tonight with Magpie Thief. And this is Maddie and Emily of Magpie Thief, a Greensboro-based band, which is what we're here to showcase to you. So good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Uh, we started this duo out of um, the desire to be able to travel and do it easily. We can fit everything in one car. It's Magpie Thief. Where do we get the name? Uh, th there is an old folk story in England. I have family in England. Uh, about a man who, just because of his intimidating countenance, could walk up upon a magpie and pick it up and put it in a sack. And magpie, like if you see a lone magpie, it's supposed to symbolize bad luck. So this man was trying to save the village from bad luck. Interesting. So that's where it came from. So he was a magpie thief? That yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, that's pretty neat.
do you guys want to travel next? Well, we've been uh, sort of doing some loops throughout the southeast, and we, we haven't really made it up north yet. Um, so I think probably our next thing as far as branching out will be um, heading up towards uh, New York and Philly and closer to where Maddie's from. Uh, I can't wait to bring Emily up north. <laughs> A whole different world in Alabama. They're going to respond very well to her, I think. Yeah. Your influences? Um, I would say, uh, I mean, I, I grew up in South Alabama listening to my uncle's country radio station, so. Was it like really of, twangy stuff, or was it? Yeah, like, it was the first, you know, first place I heard uh, Loretta Lynn and Patsy Cline. Hank Williams was, he used to spend his summers in the county where I grew up, and, um, and so I guess. But that's sort of where it all, you know, where I first got excited about music was hearing uh, those folks on the radio. And then um, as I got older, it sort of extended into folk more. I, I spent um, probably about two years listening to Bob Dylan exclusively and nothing else. <laughs> and it's, it's probably a phase a lot of songwriters go through, I'm guessing. That's a good place to be, though. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a lot to listen mm -hmm. to. How about you, Maddie? As far as like songwriting and stuff goes, I think I'm I'm influenced a lot by people that I know in Greensboro. Like Jack Carter is probably one of my favorite songwriters of anybody. And Jacob Darden, uh, Randy Seals. There's ton Emily. There's tons of great songwriters in town, and this is where I started playing music when I lived in Greensboro. So I I I don't think I could help but be influenced by them. No. Uh, I started playing music with Lil Mikey, and he's a great songwriter. When he started playing me his songs, they were hilarious and, and well-written, and I couldn't, I was like, wow, you wrote that, you know? And then then I was like, well, I want to try and do that too. Yeah, no. yeah. I found um, one of the recurring themes that that I find in interviewing musicians is how musicians tend to help other musicians. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's, in some sense, it, it's part of necessity. In other senses, it's a matter of community. Mm -hmm. And I, just meeting you today, I, you know, I've, I've heard your name countless times, seen it in in many places, and have heard that you know Maddie's part of the the Greensboro music scene. Like, all almost all music filters through you at oh, some point. That's definitely an exaggeration. But it's a slight exaggeration, but I, you know. Well, I've hosted an open mic that's pretty successful for almost 13 years now, and I, I met a lot of musicians. I think I maybe met you before, but then met you at open mic. Yeah. And a lot of people, a lot of bands um, have formed from that, and I've, I'm lucky enough to have a lot of friends through that, and I do a radio show called Gate City Port Authority on WUAG, which is like a locally focused show, and we film live performances and play great solely recordings from Greensboro. Well, from the Triad, no, yeah, not necessarily all from Greensboro. Okay, and that's what are the call letters? Well, UAG, UAG, uh, the one hundred three point one, one hundred three point one, and it's you said Thursday night. Yeah, Thursday from seven to nine. Cool. How would you say your experience here in Greensboro is different from everywhere else you've been? Can I get this like, one? Go for it. <laughs> I love playing out of town because nobody knows you. You you have this like first impression that you get to give to people that are is ideally you're you at your best at that point doing what you are doing with your life. No one knows your criminal record, your ex-girlfriends, you know, your, <laughs> that one time you were too drunk over there, you know. Yeah. They leave all the critics behind. Yeah, it's just a fresh, it's fresh, you know. Yeah. And when you, when you get a compliment or something from someone, you have no idea what they do, they don't know you, and all they like is just what you just played for them. It's, it's cool, it feels really good. What I love watching is you know, this town is bursting at the seams with talent, and every yeah, <laughs> once in a while I you agree. just see the seam actually burst, and yeah. you know, another 
spot pop up, another, you know, studio pop up out of nowhere. No. We've well, it's like, I think of like Rhiannon, Rhiannon Giddens, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who she used to live in Westerwood. You know, she yeah. grew up here. Yep. You know, everybody, uh, I've known her over the years, and I've known a lot of people that know her. Yeah, I have to say that the, um, the songwriting, the, the way that your lyrics and melodies carry, it's very um, pleasant. It's easy for for a new listener to take the journey with you. Oh, cool! Mm -hmm. And um, that's good to know. Yeah, it, it's it's a challenge, and I think you guys just part of it is maybe the environment, maybe just your comfort with each other, but it it conveys well <laughs> as far as you know being in unison, and um, it. it it's really great stuff. Thank you. And um, you know, I've, I've just been introduced to it recently, and um, I've done a little bit of investigating online to find you guys and and find your stuff. And how can you make it easy for me? Where um, can the listener find your stuff? Mm -hmm. uh, there'll be a link to our Bandcamp, which has music. Golden Gate